Hi guys, it's Sam from the Pink Elephant Parlor and I am back home. Today marks one month I was on the road and visiting people and seeing everybody, finding some really great treasures. And I'm gonna show you a few of them now and there's even more, guys. I have a few videos I'm gonna throw up from when I was on the road and um, we'll start uh, by showing you the items that I'm gonna have in the sale this Sunday. There will be some more uh, items. These is just what I've been able to pull out so far. So here we go. Have a real pretty um, Fenton piece, the blue opalescent with the um, Lily of the Valley on it. Really, really nice, excellent condition. Got some little coarse people back there, little carolers, religious piece, nice little dog on a pillow. We got some little ladies going on there. I do believe I have three of those in the sale this week. Got a pair of Kokishi salt and pepper shakers. Got that poodle lipstick holder there. And look at these guys right here. They are little, they call them, when I looked them up, they were calling them fairy pixie butterflies. Really, really cute. Uh, I did see where a set of four sold for over $150. Uh, mine won't be that high. Um, then we're going to do these little salt and pepper shakers here, those cute little dogs there. How cute. She ain't paying him no mind and he's winking at her. Got a real neat uh, Hager vase there in the back. Gonna have some uh, cups and saucers. Got a little um, kitty cat there that's holding a bunch of pierced earrings to be available. Got some old hair nets, piece of delf there. Now that piece of delf, I got that when um, I was with uh, Norma. It does say delf. Everybody had a number at this sale and I bought it from um, buyer number eight. So it was really weird how they had that all set up at that sale there. And then I got uh, some, some of those old sewing needle kits, advertising pieces. They say I don't sell them for the needles, I sell them for the, the ephemera. Then we got a bunch of old like advertising uh, recipe pamphlets. There's some really neat ones. There's some like pumpkin, the hula girl, Got a little jack-in-the-box there. Just some really cute Betty Crocker. I think there was a Betty Crocker in here, I think. Oh, I can't remember now. Thought that one of them was a Betty Crocker. Don't know now, can't remember. But anyway, all those would be available. Have a really pretty uh, fan there. Now it's got a glare on it. I'll try to see if I can get it any better there for you. A little fan dish. And then I have this ring. Now guys, this ring is gold, real gold, and silver. And the stone that's in it, if I can get a show in there a little better, the stone does light up. It is your uh, uranium stone. Um, unfortunately, I do not, have not unpacked my light. Hopefully by my sale time, I will have that done. <laughs> And then I got this really cute little mouse here reading a book with a, it looks like a mushroom behind her. She is a napkin holder, real cute. She does have that Japan sticker on the bottom. Reminds me a lot of, um, the writing on it reminds me a lot of the Joseph original um, little Japan stickers with that Curtis of Japan writing. Really cute little set here. This is the cup. It is a 1977 Spencer gift. Japan also comes with the little bowl and then the plate, the under plate comes with it as well. And it's got the little shoes on the bottom. It is a matching set. And um, <clears throat> I do have two of those, so there will be two available of those. Just really cute little set there for a little kid. Really pretty um, green. I believe it's um, made in Japan, yep. 
cup and saucer. There's a little gold one right here and the little base will come with it that will stand. And then I have this little set of miniature frogs. They all mark Japan and it is a frog band. A couple of little skunks there with flowers on their head. Now, I think they must've had a mama because they do have a ring around uh, the neck there uh, where they would have been chained, but I did not find her. There's another one of those girls again. Those are really, really pretty cool. Let's see if I can tell you anything about those. They are um, crafted in Malaysia. This is what the bottom says on it. This was like a set of girls. I just thought they were so cool. They're not like horribly old, but like uh, early 80s. I think that was at 81 on it. Then I have a set of your mermaids. They are Mart Miller Studio 1968 on them. They're in really good condition. Those will be available. Got a wooden darning uh, egg there. And then up on the back here, I have this little piece. I guess it hangs like on your closet or something. It is a hosiery hamper laundry bag. Still has the original sticker on it there. And it, you just stick your hosiery right down in there. I guess it's where you like store them. She's got her little clips there to put her hose on. I just thought it was pretty neat. It would be neat really hanging on the wall in your bathroom or in a bedroom or, or you know, in, even in a sewing room, it'd be really cool have ribbons coming out of it and everything. Let's see, is there anything I've missed? I don't think so, I think I've talked about everything. Oh, back to the ring real quick. You will get it in the casket as well. I don't think it's the original casket that that came in. It was just the one it was in when I bought it, but it is um, gold and silver. The um, It's a size eight and a half. The top, Part of it is gold. If I could show it better, it just won't focus for some reason. Can't get that to focus for nothing. Hmm. Why won't you focus? My old dirty hands. I tell you, I've been washing everything today. But the top is silver or is gold, and uh, like a cap on it, and then. Um, the band around it is silver. It is all marked on the inside. It does say, I um, can't remember how many carats it is. It does say, let's see, sterling and 10 carat on the inside of it. But it is really pretty. Like I said, it is an eight and a half. It will also be available. <clears throat> but this is what I've got so far, guys. This is what I've got unpacked and clean and ready to roll. I have got most of the magic cabinet set up with new items all the way through it. So you'll be able to see those on Sunday as well. Um, and like I said, there will be a few more items than this available. This is just what I could set up for now. So I hope to see you this Sunday. That is the 17th of July at 3 p.m. Central Time. And I am so glad to be back, guys. But I was happy to meet everybody on my trip. We will, I will tell you the whole story and where each piece I bought it, what state it was in, where it came from, who I shopped it with, or whether I got it when I was by myself. Um, yeah, so I'll see you Sunday, guys. Bye-bye.